Hello and welcome back to Robbie's Arcade. Today we're going to talk about a walk-along beat-em-up, of course, from the guys at Capcom. There's lots of titles that Capcom put out there that people either don't know about or were largely overlooked. And a classic example of this is Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Now, this was actually based on another franchise. We'll talk about it later on in the facts section. But this walk-along beat-em-up didn't really hit the UK that much. I saw it in a couple of places. I remember seeing it once in a chip shop, once in my teens. But it never really hit this country. It was very big in the East. And in America, it didn't do too badly either. It never really, it, there was no follow-up to it. And I don't think it ever really hit a home console. But that said, it is an insanely playable game. There's so many concepts in Cadillacs and Dinosaurs that have either been borrowed, homaged, or downright ripped off from games that came later. Remember, this came out in 1992. So there are things in this that Streets of Rage never did, the Double Dragon didn't do, the Final Fight didn't do, and a whole host of features of functionality that just never featured in other games. There's other things as well that make this game insanely unique, and I'll get to that later on, and a lot of them you'll see as the video continues. But without further ado, let's get in to Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. So let's get a bunch of continues in. So straight away, probably the most standout feature immediately is that this is a three-player game. Now, there, to my knowledge, there are hardly any three-player games. And I did a little bit of research prior to this video, and it turns out there's, I can find less than 20 games in the last 25 years that have got three players. The reason for that being is market research tells us that odd numbers, apart from a one player, are very, very unpopular. There's been a few games from the guys at Konami that have featured three players, but ultimately they've all kind of been abandoned pretty early on. Three player games are always seen as a kind of, there's no point, you'll either end up with someone left over or not enough people to fully populate the machine. And three players are kind of given a wide berth in the grand scheme of things and the whole the rule of three does not apply to Cadillacs and Dinosaurs or indeed many games because this um, this three player game is brilliant there's only other one three player game that I know of that is in the same league of this and again from Konami and that's Alien vs Predator another game that we will feature here at Robbie's Arcade but if we just go straight into the game now again we've got a few people that we can go for straight away off the bat and do you know what I'm going to go for the standalone, always the, the basic character you get, Axel from your Streets of Rages. There's so many different variants of the same dynamic. But here we go. Here we have the good guys, the bad guys. So straight away, let's get into this. And this game really does live up to the name of Cadillacs, versus Di uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. It's very, very playable. Um, and I've mentioned that before in some other games but as walk-along beat-em-ups go I am gutted this never made it to home console for the most part I kind of wish it was available on PlayStation Network or Xbox Live just because one the speed of the game that, the, the, as it plays is you know far surpassing a number of different games next you can see the next big feature guns there is actually guns in this game Something you never see in a walk-along beat-em-up game. And ammo as well, of course. So, if you're here, of course, you will drop the gun, but... And, of course, you drop the gun enough times, it will go. But, there are a multitude of different guns within this game. Let's have a look. Is it game going to jump through this window? I assume so. Still got the gun. Lovely little feature there. We've got the run function. And we've got a special move by pressing the two buttons together. I presume like Streets of Rage that is going to cost me some of my vitality. Um, a nice, um, good selection of sprites and grenades. So absolutely loads of droppable items here. Hopefully we'll see some other... And we have a dinosaur. So let's see if we can do this without hurting the poor dino. Don't want to get all Jurassic Park about this, but... Is 
those of you that have played Streets of Rage on the Mega Drive will remember a level where the oh no I've accidentally killed a dinosaur there you go it wasn't a meteor it was my fault that the dinosaurs died out but again I just I'm very impressed by this game and the time limit is something I'm not impressed by I've got to say if I was in the arcade paying money for this I think I'd be pretty annoyed by that time limit. Presumably that was something that was included because people were just sticking around for too long. Whether that was something that they realised during the testing of this game, who knows. Oh, that energy, that's gone. Luckily here I am, I'm back. No, no, this is... Um, we will hopefully be featuring a lot more walk-along beat-em-ups on this channel. But I've got to say straight away, this is going to be a hard one to beat. If I can do a kind of a top gear, top wall of walk-along beat-em-ups, this is going to be the one to beat for me at the moment. And I'm a man that's played a lot of Streets of Rage. But right now, this is really standing out for me. The graphical effects, it's incredibly responsive as games go. And moreover, it, there's just a lot going for it with the grenades, the guns, the sprites, the speed of the game. And here, there's the Cadillac. Okay, so at least now we know we've got Cadillac. But do we have dinosaurs? Boom. Here's our dinosaurs. And, of course, we have machine guns now. I'll be honest, there's just so much I love about this game. I don't think I could recommend this game anymore if I tried. Let's carry on. I imagine we don't want to wake that little dinosaur up. Oh no, they did it for me. That cannot end well, surely. Yep, that's right, I'm beating up a dinosaur. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. Do you know what, while we're here, let's, let's talk some facts shall we it's always nice to talk about the facts of these games now Cadillacs and Dinosaurs was originally released in 1993 um, it was released originally in uh, the um, in the east in Japan and made little dips into the US a little while afterwards but never once I say I've already said never really hit the UK in any big way um, it utilized the original CP1 system not the CP2 that we've talked about in the channel a lot uh, on a, a le, talked about the channel I talked about on the channel a lot that's a hell of a sentence um, it was the same um, arcade scheme that was utilized by Street Fighter um, 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting Captain Commando and Street Fighter Alpha in early editions uh, the reason they changed it of course is because it was going to be increasingly easy to mod and to cr commit basically copyright infringement and piracy it was developed by Capcom those big big names in the arcade sector I talk about them a lot and this side, this side-scrolling beat-em-up game uh, of cooperative nature was originally based on a series of books, a Xenozic Tales. Xenozic? I'm going to see if I pronounce that correctly later on. Um, and the other quite interesting fact about this I found out while I was researching it is the plot is stupidly intense. If you go to Wikipedia, do check it out. Not now. See the video through to the end. You will see that the plot it's a good few minutes worth of material in the Wikipedia page about this arcade game. And an arcade game with a long plot is almost, you know, unheard of. Because arcade games by their nature are very disposable, very play quickly, eat some coins real quick, and they are designed to, for you to get through a lot of coins. And at that time, you weren't going to spend more than about two or three quid in an arcade. Because the return, money for time-wise, was appalling. Um... Now, one of the enemies in the game apparently bears an, a striking resemblance, a character, character called Bulge, a strong resemblance to Blanca from Street Fighter, to a point where a lot of people actually suspected a character crossover within the two, uh, between Street Fighter and Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. And of course, both being owned by Capcom, that isn't impossible, but Capcom actually had to go to the trouble of saying this was by no means intentional and a complete accident. And lastly, the game is actually called uh, Cadillacs Dinosaurs of the New Century um, in original Japanese release uh, pronounced Cadillacs Kuyu Siniski which I'll be honest sounds a bit Russian to me so I'll probably butchered the pronunciation but let's get back into the game shall we hopefully the mouse isn't going to be on the screen too much so 
here we are in Mud Swamp. Again, lots of things about this game that I quite like, and it's something that I think other games could really have served to copy. Um, I mean, the fact that, um, I mean, the dinosaur sprites themselves, I'm not going to say that that's particularly original. I believe uh, Jurassic Park came out around the early 90s period anyway, so dinosaurs aren't new as a game concept. But what's very interesting is the idea of the utilisation of guns, uh, the health bars on your opponent, although by today's standards is incredibly old hat, but uh, back then was something people didn't really do because it used up a bit of extra RAM calculating that sort of thing. Um, and now, whoa, that was grotesque. Blowing a man up. Um, that was fantastic. And unfortunately, there you go. That's your lot. That is Cadillacs and, uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. I'll be honest, I'm going to be playing this game a lot more off camera. And I look forward to bringing it back to the channel later when I do comparisons against Streets of Rage and Final Fight. But otherwise, ignore the epileptic seizure on the screen. If you've enjoyed this video and want to recommend more games, pop it in the comments. But otherwise... Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do check in to Ar uh, Robbie's Arcade next time. Thanks for watching.